Welcome to a Informatica Cloud video tutorial. My name is Fernando Guerrero, and we are going to talk about how to load multiple XML files with hierarchy parser transformation. In this, in this video, we are going to define what is hierarchy parser, uh, some guidelines and limitations that we have with this transformation. We will see at demo how to load the files, and you will have some links to the documentation for this transformation. So hierarchy parser transformation is going to allow us to process um, hierarchical input like XML documents, or JSON objects, into relational data. So we can save that information into any database that you want. Now, we have some limitation with this transformation. So we can, we can load files that are up to 1.5 gigabytes. If you need to process files that are bigger than that, I will recommend you to use intelligent structure models. Also, if the data structure of your XML file is really complex or it has more than 10,000 elements and attributes, I think using a structured parser transformation would be a better option. And when you use hierarchy parser transformation, uh, just keep in mind that uh, for Boolean data type inputs, we will get a zero as return. So now we are going to proceed to see the demo and how to load the files. So now we are going to load the XML files. And the first thing that I want to show you is like, here we have uh, four XML files and we want to load all of them at the same time. And one thing that we have to keep in mind is like the, the data structure inside those files, it has to be the same. If they don't share the same data structure, we are not gonna be able to load them together. So now let's go to, to Informatica Cloud. And first, we need to go to the components. And here we have one called hierarchical schema. And this is going to read one of the XML files to understand the data structure. And it's going to create a schema based on that data structure. We will use this schema later on our mappings when we are loading the actual XML files. So it's going to create one. It's going to say city, city one. Uh, and we select one of the files that we want to, to process. We are going to validate. It's, it's fine. So we save it. Now we come to our, to our mapping. And here we are going to see the hierarchy parser. And in this transformation, we have one setting here that is asking for the schema. So we are going to select input type. We are going to choose file. In the schema, we are going to select the one that we created just some minutes ago. We save it. Now here is a trick to load multiple XML files at the same time. Our source, uh, we are not going to read the XML files directly. What we are going to do is we create one flat file connection and we are going to be reading one text file. Now, if we look at, if we look here at the files, these are the XML files that we want to load. And this is the file that the flat file is pointing at. Uh, if we look at information that we have inside that text file, uh, here it is. You can see we create one column, one variable, call it path. You can name it anyway. And inside here, we have the path to all the XML files that we want to load. So if you want to load one XML file, if you want to load uh, 5, 15, 30, you can place the path to all those XML files here. That's, that's the trick how to load... Uh, multiple XML files at the same time. So if here in the source, we can preview the data and we see that we can read all the map, the paths to the XML files. So now we connect it. We come again to this transformation. I am going to make this one bigger. Um, here we need to do the mapping. This is the field that comes from the from the text file. We are going to map it. This is our input. Uh, this is 
this information comes from the schema that we selected. So in the schema, we have this data structure. So we want to select all this, this schema because we want that all these fields become our output fields. And this is the name of this, this group. This group is called customers city info. Now, now we connect this one to our target and we specify the output group that we want. We want the customer city info. Here our target, we are connecting to a, a table. We have a snowflake table. And if we look at the, if, at the table right now, you will see that this table is it's empty. We don't have any data in the table. So we connected to the to the target. Um, let me maximize this one. So the mapping is already there. It's gonna save this mapping. Everything is is fine. And we can create a mapping task to execute this one. Okay, so we will we will create the mapping task so we can run we can run our mapping. Uh, we have it ready, so now we can run this mapping task. It's going to take a few seconds to initialize, especially because it is the first time that we created the mapping. So it takes a little bit more time. Uh, this process has finished. We loaded the records. So let's go to verify the data in the table. So we get take a look at the data in the table. We have these records and these records, you see, they come from the different files that we originally had and this is how you load more than one xml file at the same time if you want to learn more about hierarchy parser you can check the documentation at informatica.com there is plenty of information about this tool if you have any feedback Please send us a message to support videos at informatica.com. We would like to hear from you. I appreciate your time and your interest at Informatica Solutions. Thank you.